British actress Jenny Agutter recently turned 69, and she's looking great for her age, but then again, she's always been beautiful. She rose to fame as a child actress, appearing in offerings like 1964's East of Sudan, 1968's Star, and two highly celebrated adaptations of the Edith Nesbitt children's book The Railway Children. In 1971, she won an Emmy for Outstanding Actress in a Drama in her role in the television film The Snow Goose. That same year, she appeared in the critically acclaimed film Walkabout. After moving to the U.S. in 1974 to pursue a career in Hollywood, a gutter appeared in the blockbuster 1967 hit Logan's Run. She followed that up with appearances in films like Amy, An American Werewolf in London, and Child's Play. While enjoying a fruitful career in the States, a gutter continued to star in high-profile British films like The Eagle Has Landed, Equus, and Riddle of the Sands. In the early 90s, she moved back to Britain to focus on her family life. She then shifted away from films and started focusing on television appearances. After starring in the 2000 TV adaptation of The Railway Children, a gutter continued to steadily work in British drama series. Since 2012, she's been one of the stars of the hit BBC primetime series called The Midwife. That same year, she returned to Hollywood to appear in The Avengers. She reprised her role in the 2014 film Captain America The Winter Soldier. A gutter has been active in show business for close to six decades now, and as far as we can tell, she has no plans of stopping soon. In fact, she's slated to appear in the upcoming film The Railroad Children Return, expected to hit theaters later this year. In this video, we'll be taking a look at some never-before-seen photos of Jenny Agutter in her prime. These rare historical photos aren't exactly appropriate for history books, if you know what we mean. To say she was a sex symbol is a bit of an understatement. Jenny at the Golden Globes, 1978 Agutter is seen here attending the 35th Annual Golden Globe Awards on the 28th of January, 1978. The event was held that year at the Beverly Hilton Hotel in Beverly Hills. Pretty in Pink, 1984. Here's a picture of Jenny posing for a portrait in Los Angeles in 1984. Yep, pink is definitely her color, but then again, she could rock just about anything. Jenny and Jane Seymour, 1985. Here's a lovely photo of Jenny and her friend and fellow Brit actress Jane Seymour enjoying lunch together at Disneyland in LA. Seymour's breakthrough film role was playing the psychic Bond girl Solitaire in the film Live and Let Die, which hit theaters in 1973. She also had a leading role in the TV series The Onaden Line, which ran on the BBC between 1971 and 80. Throughout the 80s, Seymour enjoyed roles in TV programs and films like East of Eden and Captains and Kings. Later on, Seymour landed the iconic role of Dr. Quinn in the series Dr. Quinn Medicine Woman. Since then, she's appeared in films like 2005's Wedding Crashers and 2020's Friendsgiving. A Flower Among Flowers, 1971 This photo of a teenage Jenny Agutter sitting in a field of flowers was taken in 1971, the same year she appeared in the Emmy Award-winning TV film Snow Goose. She would have been either 18 or 19 at the time. Looks to Kill, circa 1973 Pretty much every time Jenny stood in front of a camera, the results were nothing short of stunning. This shot was taken in London when a gutter was around 21. The Man in the Iron Mask, 1977 this photo was taken on the set of the 1977 TV film The Man in the Iron Mask, which was based on the famous Alexandre Dumas novel. In it, Jenny played the character Louise de la Valliere. The Ripple of the Sands Playing the role of the character Clara in this British spy thriller film. The movie was based upon a novel of the same name written by English-born Irish writer Erskine Childers. It was set in 1901 and starred a gutter as well as Simon McCorkendale and Michael York. Unfortunately, it failed to find success at the box office and didn't receive a U.S. release until 1984. The Railway Children, 1970 this 1970s British family drama was based upon a novel written by Edith Nesbitt that was published in 1906. The film adaptation was directed by Lionel Jeffries and starred Jenny Agutter, who previously was featured in the 1968 BBC adaptation of the novel, as well as Dinah Sheridan, Sally Thompson, and Bernard Cribbins. The film's plot was about three children who moved in with their mother in Yorkshire after their father's disappearance. The kids end up going on an epic adventure as they discover the secret as to why their father vanished. 
Jenny played one of the children, Roberta Bobby Waterbury. While she'd already appeared in several films and TV shows, the Railway Children cemented a gutter status as a bona fide star. The movie was the ninth most popular film at the British box office in 1971 and was met with universal acclaim from critics and audiences alike. It left a lasting impression on the British film industry and made a significant mark on Brit popular culture. The British Film Institute ranked The Railway Children 66th of their top 100 British films of all time in 1999. Likewise, the film magazine Total Film named it their 46th greatest British film of all time. In 2000, Jenny Agutter starred in a new television adaptation of The Railway Children, playing the role of the kid's mother. The bulk of the publicity for the film centered around Agutter's involvement since the two films were produced a full generation apart. In May of 2021, a sequel film titled The Railway Children Return was announced. A specific date has yet to be announced for its release, but it's expected to hit theaters sometime in 2022. A gutter will be reprising her role as Roberta Bobby Waterbury. She's the only cast member from the original film who will be returning. This time, she's playing an adult version of the same character she played over 50 years ago. If you're enjoying this video so far, be sure to tap the join button to become a Facts First member. It'll grant you access to an extensive library of videos more risque than YouTube allows. Logan's Run, 1976. This science fiction film, based on the 1967 novel of the same name by William Nolan and George Clayton Johnson, starred Jenny Agutter as Jessica Six, the main protagonist of Logan's Companion. The film had a star-studded cast that included the likes of Michael York, Richard Jordan, Roscoe Lee, Peter Ustinoff, and Farrah Fawcett. It was set in what appeared to be a utopian future. In reality, however, the world of Logan's Run was actually a horrifying dystopia where the population and resources are kept in balance by killing everyone who reaches 30 years of age. Logan's Run was one of the first films that Agutter appeared in after moving to Hollywood at age 21. It was a smash hit at the box office, grossing $25 million in North America alone. It received a mixed critical response, but it has since gone on to develop a cult following. In 2015, a gutter auctioned off her personal script of Logan's Run to raise money for the nonprofit 65 Roses, an organization associated with the Cystic Fibrosis Foundation dedicated to helping find a cure for the debilitating disease. She's passionate about this because the disease was likely responsible for the death of two of her siblings. Her niece also suffers from it. Now it's time to hear from you. What are some of your favorite roles that Jenny a gutter played? Let us know in the comments section below. And before you go, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to Facts First if you haven't already. Click the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content.